Hi everyone, it is the 15th of June of 2023. Um, not doing as many videos on Arena recently because, uh, well, I finished with Match the Machine. Um, so I'm going to do Midweek Magic MoMA today. I've just been grinding out wins. As you can see, I've got plenty of stuff. Very, very nice for when the next set, not the Lord of the Rings one. Um, as you can see, not the Lord of the Rings one because it's non-standard, so I'm kind of not really bothered about it. Um, yeah, so I might just skip that one entirely, like I did with the Baldur's Gate one. And I'd like to do a Chromatic Cube draft because I've got so much resources. I'm like, yeah, that's Chromatic Cube is like a treat, I guess. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But first. Let's do this. I'm only going to go for the two wins. I don't care about the mystery cosmetic. I cannot be bothered. So this is the one where you pay X mana and discard a card to get a random creature with converted mana cost X. It's very, very luck based. But also interesting. Ugh. I don't like this arena. An arena I don't like the looks of for a set I didn't really like. Well, get some lands out. So actually we've got each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Okay. And when it enters the battlefield, choose one. Deals one damage to any target. Um. Ah, oh, yeah, in turn. Uh, one damage to any target. Opera 1 1 counter on target creature, it gains trample and 10th of the turn, or create a tapped power stone token. Uh, yeah, I will do that. I'll bring you out. I'll probably bring out a, uh, a tap power stone token. We shall see. I need some white for Solar Blaze though. Well, watch the 2 2. Right. Um. Oh, well, there's a white. Yeah. Let's create a tap power stone token. Or I could do that. Yeah, let's do that one. Trampling haste. Get a bit of damage done. Uh, I suppose you could make X equals zero. If they kill that, whenever you attack, double targets. Oh, I might have to use this because that thing's nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh. I could. Oh no, it's sorcery though, isn't it? Hmm. Right. So what first, let's attack. Then they'll block. Yep. And now everything dies. So, did I come out ahead in that all that transaction? I guess not really. Oh, oh yeah, we've got the um, oh, we've got the match of the machines cards now as well. Didn't even think about that. Okay, my timer is it four sixteen, four seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. You know, just to um. Sync up the audio if I need to, which I hope I don't, but if I need to, makes it a bit easier. Let's get rid of a mountain. I've already got plenty of those. Vid 5 4 Vigilance Trample. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. At least this current setup. It might be a bit awkward with them. With those things, those incubators. So they're going to attack with everything now. 
Oh. Oh, that's bad. I didn't even think of that. Didn't even consider Glissa. Jeez. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Please give me something good for six. Seven, seven. Um, it's not. Oh, this is annoying. Wait, you do this and it won't like. It won't stay up. It's like it's a glitch. Um, are they deciding something? Right. Yeah. So, I can attack for 12. Like, if they can't get anything on here, which they will do, because they'll use the, the emblem. But they'll all have Death Touch. And First Strike. So, if I take that damage. Right, now I just have to hope that whatever they do now. Oh, that's a big, a big thing. Right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's hope we get some random thing. Some random thing that can let me survive this turn. Because I need to survive the turn. Ah, it flies, but it's not got trample. I mean, well, I mean haste, even if it did have haste. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. I'm hoping. Oh. Okay, so the audio might mess up here. I'm gonna click the. The X. Right. Hopefully the audio didn't mess up. But I've got the backup going on. I forgot to cancel that. Annoying. I could have just stopped the recording, but <laughs> I'd rather not have. Foo. So I think I think the audio is probably working fine. If it's not, it's fine. I can sync it up. It's a bit annoying. Are you back in back in the old <laughs> the old new Phyrexia. Should I do what X equals one? Yeah, okay. I generally don't. What are you? You're a forest. Uh, let's get rid of let's get rid of one of my swamps. Get a. Sham Shambling Goblin, when it dies, create a tag which gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Yeah, okay. Uh, I suppose, oh, it would kind of work well with that one, I guess. Um, Let's just be a bit aggressive. Let's, let's create it. X equals two. And get rid of, get rid of an island. Death touch. Death touch. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, conjure a card named Virus Beetle into your hand. Oh, okay. Can bring you out next turn. They might be able to just kill it. But if I can conjure a card into my hand. Um, that's gonna that card advantage is gonna really help if I can get it to trigger off. So I've been quite aggressive, but the cards I've actually got here are um ah okay. Now what should I do with you? Tell you what, bring you out. And let's let's be aggressive here. They might have some. They I mean they will. Oh no, they're just saving back. Ah, okay, I get virus beetle. Nice. Okay. So I could 
I mean, they're sort of saving up, but I could mess up their hand. I guess if I'm going to be getting virus beetles. Potentially. Uh, yeah, solar blaze isn't going to help right now. Let's... Right. It kind of... Yeah. It'll stop me from getting another... Another virus beetle. Right. Let's just make X equal 4. And get rid of this planes here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Alish Norn. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, so I suppose the moment event is sort of like it works It works in the sense that, um... Hold on. If I can... Oh, I don't have any black mana. Um... Shall I just attack with you? I mean, I could have made X equal 1. Couldn't I? Okay. Well, let for now, let's do an X equals 5. Uh, let's get the planes. Uh, okay, then. So I can... I can bring you back as a saga, incubate two five times, creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain double strength at the end of turn, destroy all permanents except for artifacts, lands and Phyrexians. Right. Well, you've got a lot of a lot of text. Whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or opponent you control, that source of control loses two life unless they pay one. Well Yeah. And you, you've got a lot of abilities as well. Right, let's bring out the swamp. Make sure I've got this right. Virus beetle? Do they have to discard a... Uh, a card? I can't really block with this because they've got... Attack with this because they've got the big spider going on. Um, But I shall use that ability. I'm. I haven't considered every single of. The, nah, they're, they're just like nope. Forget this. <laughs> All right. All right then. Yeah, they're just like nope. I want out. Can't be bothered. Right. Obscura, ascendancy. So we Streets of New Capenna is kind of strange in that the different houses, I think they are. I mean, when I started going back onto Arena, it was uh, Streets of New Capenna was like the current thing going on, the current set. So I hadn't really like got into it. I just sort of uh, rip apart. Yeah, I just sort of um, went with it. Uh, yeah, okay. I just sort of like continue playing. Oh, I know that card. I use that in my in my regular deck. So I'm not too sure about, um, about but just from what I've seen, because I know they use the the color sets. They use the shards. Now that's interesting to me because I never played the Alara sets, shards of Alara. So I didn't get to really experience when the shards were like a big thing. The first three color focus set that I played, which is my favorite set that I've played, is uh, Cards of Tarkia. Um, yeah, and I'll get another goblin for that. 
It was Cans can uh, of Tarkia. Man, I've got three sort of swamps. And I really like that. But Cans of Tarkia uses the wedges. So, um, yeah. Abzan, Mardu, Sultai, Tima, and Jeskai. And I really enjoyed that set. But the shards, I've never. I mean, I've obviously played with those color combinations, but I've never played with. I've never. I've never properly seen the theming of the shards. If you get what I mean. Like I think Naya is big, like big, big creatures and stuff. Um. What do you do? Destroy target artifact or enchantment. You know, as long as you control just a just planeswalker, yeah, that's not going to happen. Right. Um, I don't have mana for that. Let's try attack for one. No, I won't. But I will. Make X equal three. Yeah. So I never really got to experience um, like the like na was it Naya Bant. Jund, Esper, what's the other one? Naya, Bant, Esper, Jund, that's what I'm missing. What colour combination am I missing? So, hold on, let me think about this. I'm thinking about the different colours. So now I'm thinking like where they are on the colour wheel. Because the colour wheel, there's the three that are together that are like next to each other, the shards. So, um, I mean, I should could probably like. Mm, not that good. I mean, I should probably focus on the game, I guess. Let's let's get rid of this one. I'm not going to use it by the looks of it. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose up to one. Destroy target artifact. Grixis. That's what. That's that's it. Grixis. Grixis was rather has been rather a big deal in the uh, the match of the machine pro tour. Cause I've been watching that. Um, it's because a lot of the a lot of the decks have been using. Um, either Rakdos or Grixis, because um, there's an Invoke Despair and there's another one. That's not going to be any useful, is it? Any use? When it enters the battlefield, choose up to one. Destroy target artifact. Fight target zombie. Oh well, that's. That's why that did nothing happen there. Right. Right, this is turning into a big grindy game where nothing's happening. Uh alright. Um sacrifice to the creature, untap and put a one one counter in it. Whenever it attacks, destroy target creature to hard defender and controls, then put a one one counter on. Well, I've got plenty of stuff I can sacrifice, I guess. So I could sacrifice this goblin, say. If I attack with the Tin Street Cadet, I'll maybe get another... Another thing. Oh. You're a big thing. Flying War 2, other dragons you control have War 2 at the beginning of your end step. If it goes through, it excess damage. Yeah, okay. So also, they've got two of those? Right. So, sacrifice you. To boom, untap. Oh, you've not got reach, I can just block this one. Right. Oh, see, that works well with the defender, I guess. Okay. Right. 
Well, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six. X equals six. Yeah, get rid of that island, whatever. When is that gain for life? And that is just a six, six. Okay. Well, I'll attack with these two. Whenever it attacks, just try to target creature opponent controls. Oh, I could have done you, couldn't I? And done the ward too. But no. Um. Ah, I'll just destroy you. And if they they can block the the oh the block in that one, okay. Right, well, in that case, let's sacrifice this one. And untap it. Alright then. That's okay. So I'll leave some mana open and I will... Potentially, unless they get an even bigger thing. Which is also possible. But this is looking alright. I'll leave two mana open. Um, except it's a 1-1. One, one. Alright then. Okay. I mean, that's bad because it means when they attack... Ah! Uh, well, when I attack, I'll destroy it. Unless this thing's going to be more powerful. Uh. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I'll only have... So, there's only going to be so many things I can sacrifice. They could pay two life, get rid of my little goblin dude. But they're not. Oh, croaking counterpart. That is a... Uh... Um... Now, is it going to be worth... Attacking with everything? Oh, what are you? Whenever you attack, double power, power until end of turn. Alright then. I mean, they could attack and get rid of... I mean, do I want to get rid of that flyer? Or do I want to... Just get rid of... I should have just attacked with, ev I just attacked with everything. Uh, do I, do I want to get rid of... Do I want to kill this? I don't want to get rid of their little croaker that can attack and destroy one of my guys. But if they're going to destroy one of my guys, I know which one they're going to... I mean, there's a few... They've got, there's a few viable targets, I guess. Um, Let's just do it. Let's attack with everything. Double something's power. Let's double... Uh, Let's double your power, actually. Attack uh, creature. Uh, I can make. I can destroy something. Ah, all right then. Well, that's fine. I was thinking. Is there a way around this? I was trying to think like meticulously. Well, that was all right. That was a quick. That was a quick moment. Unlike the last one, I think the last one I tried some different recording software and it was very very low frame rate. I think that's what that was. Uh, but this time, just two wins. Yep. Pretty simple. And, uh, yep, cannot be bothered with the third one. Protection from werewolves. I mean, no, I should do it. I should do it because it's, it's the complete thing, isn't it? I mean, I wouldn't, like, if I was just doing this, like, off video, then I wouldn't care, but I'm thinking, no, I am recording, so. And I have labelled it as the moment, so I'm thinking I'm, I should probably. Go ahead and get a third win. I might just not though, depending on if I... How I do this game. If I can be bothered. Path of Peril. Oh, yeah. That is the one I thought it was. Uh, well, I've got no... 
black sauces, got no swamps. Got three forests. How joyous is that? A new arrow, one one. Disturb doesn't do anything. First strike, ward one. Alright. Well. Just gonna be a game of look, I think. Let's just get rid of one of these. Yeah, whatever. When it dies, create a one one white human soldier token. Alright then. That would be alright, that would make that would be fine for Path of Peril. I just do not have the swamps. It is kind of strange that the cleave cost, like if you've only got one black mana source, then the cleave cost is gonna actually be easy to cast in some cases. Let's get rid of the forest. When it enters the battlefield, look at the forecard of your library and reveal a creature or land from among them, put it on the top of your library, then the rest on the bottom of you gives in any order. Uh, I, let's go a mountain. Fine. I mean, I've already got a mountain here, it doesn't really matter. So you require two black sources, potentially, and you require is it oh Mr Mr. Offy or the Boulder? They've, they've got a good combination of cards here. Um, let's spend three. I mean, these are these are just awkward. Let's get rid of Mr. Raphael. Uh, protection from this walker one does one damage to target plant walker. Three against indestructible. Right then. T damage. Ha oh. ha. Oh well, Moma's gonna make that indestructible quite a bit, the that thing. Right, well there's my black sauce. Um Let's just attack with these two. They'll probably block with the one one yeah, I didn't even think of that. Block with the one one first drag it's still open. Didn't even didn't even occur to me. Did not even occur to me. Yep, let's do that. And then let's pay... Four. And get rid of a forest. Do I have a forest here already? Yeah, I do. I'm just missing a... I'm missing an island, but... Um, cost one less to cast if. Didn't cost anything. Well, not a thing to cast it. Well, at least I've got a flyer. I'm gonna have a bit of more protection that way, I guess. And they're not attacking. All right then. You're right. Trample and madness. Um Should maybe have used Mormon first. At least they've got nothing They've got nothing in the air so I can get him some damage there I guess. Uh 
Um, I could maybe, if I'm really desperate, want to reach to a player, create a one more box, with menace and reach. Yeah, that's all right. If they want to block it, that's fine, I guess. I could. Oh no, I. I think I could give this this spark onto Mastico. I could give that instructable and then use a path of peril and uh, to destroy everything. Now that's a big thing. Oh, it's the prototype. Oh, is that, it ends as a copy of something, but it's a six six. Oh my goodness! They're going to give it the first strike one. Oh. oh. Never mind then. Uh, they're attacking with just that. Uh, no blocks. Right. Uh, I'll attack with everything, I guess. No, I'll attack with everything. I'll attack with these two, and then I can Path of Peril and Board Wipe. Okay. Right. So I got protection from oh, protection from planeswalkers, right. Oh no. Right. Yeah, like now, Path of Peril, I can't use its regular cost, but I can cleave it. Destroy everything and get a thing back. A little a little human. Right, so you, you are a flash. Do you counter? Yeah, you counter target spell activated ability or triggered ability. Its controller draws a card. Or destroy another target creature or plane's walk. Its controller draws a card. I mean, I could destroy my little human soldier and draw a card, I guess, if I really wanted to. Uh, so, when it enters the battlefield, you may cast instant or sorcery card from your graveyard without paying the mana cost. Well, um, can I? I don't actually. I don't actually have any blue, so I can't use that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just let's just get rid of it and um, get something else. A big seven, seven with trample gets one, one at the end of turn for each land you control. Uh, okay, well, they're going to want to have to deal with that. I've got one card. Um. Yeah, they might... Uh, They've probably got something in their hand that can just kill it. They might have that thing I just discarded. Uh, tire resurrected. I imagine. Oh no, but they've got a big thing there. Uh, let's go to plus one, plus one for each land you control. Well, let's just make that a 15-15. You have to block it, but then I'll get just through. That wasn't perfectly calculated, by the way. It was just a case of, let's just do a lot of damage. Right, okay. Well, even still, three wins. Did that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, that was still pretty fast for three wins compared to the previous one where it felt like it took ages to get four wins. But that was three. My goodness, it is hot. It is 32.5 degrees in this room, and this is why I, I hate summer. Right, and oh, look at this lovely reward. Ah, oh, Dusk Legion Duelist, another card I have to turn off the card style for in the thing. Ha ha ha. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.